Hey guys, so it is Monday the 5th, so it's Labor Day weekend. I'm currently distressing jeans. I've always, I hate, I don't really like light washes because I feel like it, there's no dimension to it, so I finally decided to distress my own jeans. I don't know. It's fun. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but I'm doing something, so... If I wear them out, I shall show you my outfit. My plan for today is to go to Central Park, um, study out there. Well, studying as in like read the things that I have to read by tomorrow. Yep, enjoy the nice weather. Just chill. Honestly, I'm not not too stressed right now. Oh god. I just realized my angles suck. I can't do like high angles. I feel weird. Like I don't like my face when it's <laughs> I don't know, but this way you just see my nose, which is not that good, so I just talk like this. Anyways, I kind of fixed the YouTube problem slightly. I just gave up on it at this point. It's taking up too much space in my laptop. I'm just going to delete those videos. Like, I uploaded them to one of them I fully uploaded. I just had to um, remove the stabilization on it, so I had to re-edit that one. And then the other one, it was like... The only part that cut, cut off was like five minutes of a rant and like I just kept saying the same thing over and over again so I don't think I don't think it was that important and I was just kind of over it at this point so that's uploaded and then I've taken a couple days off because I was so frustrated with the whole thing and I was like well if none of, like if none of my videos are going to upload probably like why am I even going to record any of this I was having like a little I was having a little technical difficulties but now I'm back and honestly, like, to me, it doesn't take that long to edit the videos. I mean, <laughs> granted, my vlogs aren't the best quality, so that's probably why. But, like, my videos aren't that far behind, I'd say. Except, like, day one and day... Day one, two, and three are behind because of the technical difficulties. But, like, every other vlog is probably, like, one day, maybe two at most. Because, yeah. As you can tell, I'm not that polished. Nor do I really wish to be polished. Anyways, talk later. Bye. Hi guys, so I'm in for East Side. Probably can't tell, but yeah, I wanted to study in the library, so not the library, the park. So I decided to come up here. There's a strange phenomenon that happens on the Upper East Side. That, so between like 68th and 96th is like the nice area. Like you think of like Gossip Girl and stuff like that. So I got off at like 77th. And like everyone who's white or a tourist just gets off there. Cause like 96 is like kind of the boundary between like the bad parts of the Upper East Side, but even that isn't even bad. Like, it's just hilarious. There's this thing you actually can look up online, and it gives you the like income for every subway stop, like the median or average income. And like, you can see, you just see like disparity, and I don't know. I just think it's funny because you can tell how nice an area is just like because everyone just leaves the train. You can just see it, like, flocks of people just leave the train at that point. I mean, obviously there's a stigma with some areas of the Upper East Side, but it's all pretty safe. I just think it's totally... I just think it's, like, hilarious. You can see just people leaving. Anyways, check back in with you guys when I'm at the park, but this is my outfit. This makes me feel like I'm in the church. I feel like I'm like a pope or something. So I'm gonna walk and complain a little. Uh, I'm not dressing for the weather necessarily because the room that I have, you can't you can't see outside and you can't really see people. Like you can't see the sky. So it looks like dark and kind of like chilly. I mean, this is fine, but if I'm sitting on the sun, I'm gonna be sweating. Like it's no one's business. Oh, this necklace is bleeding. I should put it under the collar. Anyways, check back in with you later. Tell you how 
tell you how much I've sweated, but yep, this is the upper east side. It's, it's very pretty. There's not much happening here. Anyways, bye. I just finished shopping basically at the container store. I'm actually taking a very long route. So I was all the way in Central Park. I want to say 78th. I walked down to 69th, I think. That's where um, the container store is. Bought the remaining containers that I needed. Now I'm walking to Grand Central. I don't know. I'm just like doing a whole leisurely walk. This is actually where a lot of the offices are. Like financial offices, I would say, in Manhattan. So it's not as light. There's like no one. As you can see, no one. So that's fun. Yeah, but also what I don't understand is that like it already feels like fall. Even though... I didn't feel like getting hit by a car. Um, it feels like fall, like it's only four-ish, I wanna say, and it's like not sunny out. I don't know, it's kind of sad. As much as I love fall, I don't know. Fall's like couples weather, like everyone's out walking around. So it's interesting to see couples. I don't know, also, karma is totally a thing, so there's a guy that I helped, like, I, t I talked to him about ghosting on girls, and after he talked to me, he, like, felt bad. So he apologized to this girl that he ghosted on one time. And then yesterday, this guy who ghosted on me apologized to me, and I was like, karma's totally a thing. Like, I helped someone, and then I got in turn. But honestly, the apology did not feel like anything. Like, it didn't do anything. Like, he apologized to me, but it felt so, like, fake and unnatural. Like, I knew he was doing it just for himself, because he told me, he was like, I have to clear up some things with people, and I was like, it's been a year now, I don't really, her apology, like, doesn't mean anything to me at this point, so, yeah. <laughs>